Hi guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Or good evening. We're doing another midnight pouring session. <laughs> I love doing these. They're so much fun. Um, we're going to be doing another open cut pour. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist's Loft. I have a couple of new colors for me to share with you, which I'm excited about. Let me show you my colors real fast. The first new one is this one. Art Alchemy's Acrylic Paint Sparks, and this color is called Fairy Wings. It's a very pretty, soft, green, metallic-y, but like a light seafoam green, kind of, with some gold in it. Very, very pretty. So I'm excited about using this one. And I have one other one by the same company, by Art Alchemy. This one is Opal Magic, and that's this right here. Very pretty, pale pinky sort of opaly color, I'm hoping. So my base coat today is going to be Payne's Gray. And my paint is all mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium and Varnish, Lotrol, some paint, and this does have GAC 800 in it. And I think most of the blues took some water as well because I wanted to make sure that it's not very thick because we're doing an open cup pour. So. I actually have three cups of Payne's Gray <laughs> to make sure I have enough for a base coat and background and edges and corners and whatnot. My favorite 24 karat gold from DecoArt. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. So sparkly and just delicious with these. And last but not least, I finally got my Prussian Blue again. <laughs> this one's Golden's Prussian Blue. Just a beautiful, delicious, amazing color. I was looking at one of my pores the other night. Somebody had asked a question about zigzags in their pour, and I said, you know, probably one of your colors is thinner than the rest. So, and I remembered a painting that I had did called Fire Island. It was one of the <laughs> Studio 50 floor ones on the floor of the tough shit because the wind was blowing out here like crazy. But anyway, I did, a, I was going to do a wandering straight pour, and I poured a little strip of gold to pour onto and I had used some Golden's High Flow on either side of it and that was much much thinner than the consistency of the rest of my paint so I did this really cool beautiful pour across the canvas and then when I went to tilt it because it had that thinner line of the high flow on either side I just got all these crazy zigzags and the whole thing just went crazy it was just and then I was like okay so we tilted all of that off <laughs> And then we did it again without the high flow around it and it worked beautifully and it's actually one of my favorite pieces so i will link that one up here for you it's fire island beautiful pour okay and that one had the prussian blue and the turquoise in it it was just a very very pretty pour so this one is prussian blue okay so let's put down a little bit of our base coat we're going to use our Payne's gray as a base coat i love this color it dries so beautiful and dark Ooh, the coyotes are out. Don't worry, they're not near me. They're way <laughs> on the other side. <laughs> and there's a big tall fence, and they have no interest in our lights or our noise. So, they don't come up here. So don't worry about the coyotes. But it's cool to listen to them. Okay, I'm going to spread this out, making sure that we have some on our corners. Or is that inside? Yes. Kitties are inside because it's very late. But they're not stupid the minute they hear the coyotes, they, they head for the house. <laughs> so somebody had asked me the other day how I got into painting. <laughs> and asked me if I would tell that story. So I will tell you real quick. Um, before I painted, I <laughs> was working doing succulent landscaping. And um, it was really fun. I really enjoyed it. And I did a lot of commercial properties and some residential properties. And I had this one job that I was doing and there was a leak in one of the planter beds and the job kept getting delayed. And I had all these plants and all these materials and soil and rocks and stuff. And I had it all delivered to my house because I didn't know when I would be able to actually get to the job site and do what I needed to do. And it took like two or three weeks before I could go and and actually start working and in that two or three weeks I watched YouTube and I saw a Gina DeLuca video and I was just mesmerized it was one of her straight pours and it was just so beautiful and I just I fell in love and 
I was like, wow. And I watched all these videos in one night. <laughs> and the next day I called the structural engineer who was the one who was delaying everything. And he goes, nope, not yet. Still waiting. I said, okay, fine. So I went to Michael's and I bought some canvas and I bought some paint. And I've been having fun ever since. So, <laughs> you know, one video can change your life. That one video really did change my life. So that's cool. Anyway, so that's my origin story. <laughs> okay, so I have rings. These are from a seven ounce Dixie cup. And I was thinking, I'm just gonna do it because otherwise I'll check it out. So I was thinking I wanna put all three down at once, kind of touching each other. Okay, and we're gonna put some panes around the edge of those three. So, and I'm gonna try to pour it when I pour in the cups. I don't really wanna pour it right in the center. I kinda of wanna pour it on the edges. Like so over here and over here and over here so the paint will go away. Okay, here we go. I want to start with some turquoise. Okay, I'm going to try to pour it from up high. Some turquoise there. Some turquoise there. Some turquoise there. Okay. Now we're going to come in with some gold. See the turquoise is starting to come out. Okay, now I want to use the Prussian blue. You see I'm pouring it from up high. I'm not pouring it real close to the canvas because you want that gravity pushing the paint down. Your little gold cells starting to come up. Yay! Okay, so now I'm going to come in with this fairy wings one. That was an interesting sound. <laughs> okay, those are looking pretty cool. All right, I want to put some more of the Payne's Gray in there too. Wow, look at that. It's so pretty. All right. Let's come back. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go for some of the opal magic one now. Turn the canvas just so it stops going that way and it starts going that way a little bit. Okay. Let's see. Let's put some Prussian blue on top of that. keeps going that way. <laughs> okay. That's cool. All right, I think I want to put one more shot of the fairy wings in. And then another shot of turquoise and then I think we're going to be done.
Ooh, so pretty right there. Can you hear that? Okay. All right. That's pretty neat. Let's turn this again. Let's see if anything wants to go that way a little bit. Okay, this is a little weird right there where I spilled it. Let's see. I'm just going to take my stick with the Payne's Gray and kind of run it through that pink area. Okay. It's going to stretch out anyway. All right. So, this is looking pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to twirl it just in one spot. I'm not going to try to twirl it off. I'm just going to twirl it a little bit and then I'm going to lift it off. Because okay. it actually looks pretty cool when we're tilting it when we have that. So same thing here. A couple of twirls and lift it off. Okay, that's good. All right, this is looking pretty good so far. Let's see, I wouldn't mind getting rid of this, so I think we might go that way first. Well, let's see. Let's get some of the weight of the paint down there. You know what, let me move these out of the way. first just nice and slow I don't know if I want to go off the edge yet okay I'm gonna bring this back down towards the center Center. And let's go this way. Corner. See, I should have gotten rid of that pink thing in the beginning. Looks like there's a lot of paint on here. I'm going to take a little bit off of that bottom. So I like the fairy wings one, but I'm not so sure about that pinkish opaly one. I'm not really crazy about what it's looking like with this palette. Like I don't really like that stripe. <clears throat> all the other colors. Okay, there's a couple things that I like, but there's a couple things I'm not crazy about. I'm loving in here this like turquoise and the Payne's gray in there. I don't like that this is a little solid for me. This is a little solid for me. Okay, I think we're gonna take some paint off of this 
and then see where we are and then maybe we'll pour a little bit more i don't know all right so this is a little simple but it's beautiful though this is actually very pretty colors in here and there's some beautiful things happening but I think I want to put my ring down and I want to do it again but I think I'm just gonna put one ring down instead of three so I'm gonna put that right in the middle there And I'm going to pour some panes around the edge. And a little bit in the middle. Okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to use that pink this time. Okay. Go with some turquoise first. A little bit of gold. Prussian blue. I like that fairy wings pale green one. It's like beautiful cells popping up in there. Very pretty. Okay. I think I want to put some of the Payne's gray in there now. I'm go back to turquoise again. Some gold. Prussian blue again. That's much better. I like that without that pink. Very cool. And see how it's spreading out. So I didn't like it last time when there was that big solid blob. So let's twirl that. And that's close enough to the edge that if we want to get that off, we can. Actually, let's go take that to the edge, since all the weight of the paint is there. Okay. I'm going to come back down towards the center. And all these cells are going to stretch out and start to grow. See this gliding beautifully because there's a nice base coat on there <laughs> from our first session of pouring.
Wow, that's neat. That's very cool. I like that. I like that a lot better. It's actually got a nice composition to it, whereas before I guess there was too much going on with all three rings moving willy-nilly. Okay, so let's wipe my hands off and then we'll give it a torch and we'll see what happens. Because I think this is going to turn out beautiful. I love this in here. It's beautiful. And I like how it's sort of spreading out from out here in like these layers. You can see where each edition of the color was. It's really cool. is that for this one. I will show you guys when it's dry, but I am loving the turquoise and that Payne's gray and all of this lacing in here is so pretty. That's gorgeous. This is really pretty too. Hmm. Okay. Awesome. I love that. That corner is amazing too. Awesome. This is great. I'll show you when it's dry. Okay. So this is a couple of days later and this turned out really beautifully, you guys. <laughs> There's some parts in here that are just amazing. This right here, these cells with this turquoise lacing. Hi, Crow. It's just so cool in here. It totally reminds me of dragon skin. Like these cells, these tiny, tiny, little, tiny things are just, um, oh my gosh. Really cool. And lots of beautiful turquoise in there. And then Prussian blue cells on top of the Payne's gray. And some turquoise on this bottom edge. It's really beautiful right here. I love this. That gold is sort of like, just sort of like a wave. I don't know. I love this. And these beautiful cells in this corner. So pretty. And that more diffuse area. And over here, the Payne's Gray, this part is so pretty. Payne's Gray, and then we see that turquoise in the background. Just beautiful. That kind of looks like a dragon's eye. <laughs> but this, these cells in here, this is just, this is my favorite part. I love it. And it's so funny, because I'm always worried about, oh, is there too much gold? But no, no, there's not. <laughs> So I almost had this rotated 90 degrees the other way, but I think I like it better this way because those cells really just show so much and it's beautiful. So it has been super, super hot here and this one didn't quite crack, but there is a little bit of texture on here. And I think the only reason that it didn't crack like completely like big Grand Canyon cracks is because there wasn't enough paint on the surface for it to do that because I did tilt it like crazy but it looks kind of neat, like texture. So, very cool stuff. I really like this one. I think I'm gonna call this one Dragon Skin. <laughs> it turned out great. So this one is a 24 by 24. It had the Payne's Gray and the Prussian Blue and the Turquoise and 24 karat gold. And we used that little crafty paint, the Fairy Wings color, which I actually really liked. We also used the opal, that was the pink one, that I, the magic opal that I tilted off. I think it was Art Alchemy. I'll link those for you, but they're kind of pricey. I'm not sure I'm going to be buying a lot of them. I might buy one more jar of that Fairy Wings because it is a pretty cool color. But pretty cool stuff. So this is Dragon Skin. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. I hope that you have a beautiful, beautiful day. And we will see you for the next one. 
If you enjoyed this, can you guys please hit the subscribe button? I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.